Hello to all Star Wars fans, especially for fans of the old canon. After all, this video is especially for you. There was a small hope that the very Star Wars that we all loved as children could return and close all the sins of the sequels. I thought so because great news about the new movie surfaced a month ago. But we will return to this a little bit later. Let's take it all in order. Surely, most of you have played such wonderful games as Dark Forces, Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy, so you must remember how Luke Skywalker built a new Jedi Academy after the sixth episode, and the fact that one of his first students was Kyle Katarn, who today can be already be called a true legend of the old canon of Star Wars. At that time, and this is the very beginning of the 2000s and even the end of the 90s, he was the main character of the post-imperial era. All the computer games I listed were dedicated to him. Only Jedi Academy bypassed him as the main character, but in the game, he was still present as a mentor to the young Jaden. In short, the character is very interesting and charismatic, a kind of mixture of Han Solo, Cassian Andor and Obi-Wan. By the way, the same Andor today is a direct carbon copy of Kyle Katarn. The image of the character is almost identical, and in the events of the movie Rogue One, Andor became a companion of the well-known Jin Erso, while the love interest of Katarn was called Jen Oz. I repeat, Jin Erso and Jen Oz. Do you find any similarities? In simple terms, Kyle Katarn was removed far and for a long time after the purchase of Lucasfilm by Disney. He remained the hero of the old canon and the expanded universe attributed to the legends. And as for the current canon, no one said that he was being completely removed. Perhaps soon he will appear on the screens one way or another. While in the new canon, he has the following description. Now I will read it to you. Kyle Katarn is a force sensitive man, a human who worked as a mercenary and agent of the Alliance for the Restoration of the Republic who became a thorn in the side of the Galactic Empire. Eventually, Katarn became a Jedi. He used a green lightsaber and a K-16 sniper pistol. Why am I telling you this? Relatively recently, there was a rumor that Chris Evans will play the main role in an unannounced film from Kevin Feige, the head of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, who has been working on an unannounced Star Wars film for more than a year. As soon as this news appeared, Comments just exploded from people's notes about the similarity of Evans and Katarn. They say Chris would be perfect for the role of everyone's beloved Kyle. I noticed it too. And by the way, in the game Dark Forces 2, in which Katarn was the main character, there are even cutscenes shot with real actors instead of computer graphics. At that time, animation was still not developed at all. It was much easier to shoot cutscenes in the studio and insert them as intermediate videos. So Dark Forces 2 went this way. So the actor who played Kyle Katarn is very similar to Evans. Then the logical chain in my head closed and an interesting idea came to me. What if Lucasfilm decided to return to the old Star Wars canon and embody the image of Kyle Katarn and his tandem with Luke Skywalker in a new film? Nothing prevents you from doing this, even the infamous sequels. Look, in the present canon, 30 years have already passed between the 6th and the 7th episodes. The events of The Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett unfolded 6 years after the 6th episode and 24 years before the 7th episode. The actions of the game Dark Forces take place a year after the 6th episode, and Jedi Outcast takes us 6 years ahead after the explosion of the second Death Star. So it turns out that in the old canon and in the new canon, Jedi Outcast and Mandalorian have only two years difference in favor of the first. Probably you will say, it is clear only that nothing is clear. For clarity, in the new canon, the events of the Mandalorian take place at 10 ABY and in the old canon, the events of the game Jedi Outcast as much as 12 ABY. Now think, until the seventh episode is at least 20 something years away. How many things can happen before Luke completely builds and shits his new Jedi Academy? Just under these new events, you can tie up Kyle Katarn with all the consequences, show their tandem with Luke Skywalker and all the adventures that they experienced. And as the main villain, you can implement Tavion and Dasan, who were already villains in Jedi Outcast. That's when Chris Evans can shine in all his glory in the role of Katarn. And you know what else is interesting and funny? 
fans have long attributed the role of Luke from The Mandalorian to actor Sebastian Stan, who is considered to be a double of Mark Hamill. He looks like a young Mark like no one else and will perfectly fit into the image of Skywalker Jr. The funny thing is that Sebastian Stan played Captain America's best friend, Bucky Barnes, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe together with Evans, and their tandem can be realized in Star Wars, only as Kyle Katarn and Luke Skywalker, Jedi Masters. Agree? It's interesting? How do you like the idea? I think if Kevin Feige and Lucasfilm implement such an idea, Star Wars will experience a new dawn and imminent success. But you know, I don't believe it. As a result, everything will be much more modest as always, and Evans will play a new character, some kind of Marshall from Boba Fett's book, and that's it. But as they say, hope dies last. Write in the comments how you like this scenario. Do you like the old canon? And do you want Evans to play Kyle Katarn? That's it for today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss anything new and interesting about the Star Wars universe. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support. See you soon.